Good afternoon. Welcome to Mass at St. Gregory the Great. My name is Jerry McCarthy, and I'll be your elector for this Mass. Our celebrant will be Father Rob, assisted by Deacon Paul. We have several announcements. A men's authentic masculinity event will be held on Saturday, September 14th, featuring Deacon Greg Gollin as the speaker. Please see the bulletin for details. Please join us at St. Greg's School next Saturday for a car wash hosted by our family faith formation students. Your generous donations will help support their faith journey. Please read the bulletin for more information on registrations for faith formation, RCIA and pre-Cana, the Knights Night of Prayer, fundraiser sponsorships, and much more. For our youth and young adults, Life Teen for our high school teens begins this Sunday, September 8th at 5 p.m. Elevate for our 18 to 30 year olds is this Tuesday, September 10th at 7 p.m. Edge for our junior high youth is Thursday. The St. Gregory's Boy Scout Troop 440 is hosting their annual popcorn sale this weekend. The proceeds will benefit both the Western New York Scouting Council and support our parish's troop. The scouts will be selling popcorn at the back of the church today after mass. Please stop by to say hello and consider supporting our troop. Thank you. This time I ask you to stand and uh, uh, greet your neighbors. shall daily attend you. Ponder what the Almighty can do, who with his love will defend you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. 
to prepare ourselves to meet the risen Lord, the one who heals the man in today's gospel. He says, Ephetha, be open. My dear friends, let's open up our hearts. Let's look inside of them what needs to be healed and redeemed by our Lord. And let's ask for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners to hear and proclaim your word, to give glory and praise to God. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, 
Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet, Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hands on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger in the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, you just experienced being deaf. It felt uncomfortable. It wasn't usual. And maybe you came to appreciate the gift that we've been given with hearing and how blessed we are to be able to hear. My dear friends, that's what the gospel message is all about today. Jesus heals the man that was deaf and has a speech impediment. These words invite us to consider how we witness that healing presence of Christ in our care and ministry for those that are sick. We notice that that deaf man was brought to Jesus for healing by his friends. And that healing power is shown by the opening of the man's ears and restoring his speech. These individuals beg Jesus to lay his hands on this deaf man so that he might be healed. And yet we just heard this curious command that Jesus says to them. Don't tell anybody about this miracle you just witnessed. And Mark tells us that the people went about telling of Jesus' power to heal. So why did Jesus make this such a strange commandment. We need to put ourselves in the place of that man in today's gospel. And I think we can begin to appreciate his predicament. The man was deaf. Now try to imagine what that means, being cut off of the whole world of sound. It's like that opening image I just used. And for a moment, you couldn't understand me. 
My lips were moving, and yet words were not coming out. That would be like, in a moment of danger, a human voice could not warn him. In the time of sorrow, a human voice couldn't console him. The laughter of children, the conversation of friends, the joy of music, these are not a reality for him. And as a consequence of his deafness, he could not plainly speak, for he couldn't hear himself. He lived in a world almost completely cut off from the people who lived with him. Be open is the command of Jesus over the deaf and mute man. And Jesus wants to get rid of whatever is holding the man back. And everyone is astonished at what Jesus has done. And why? Because in everyday lives, we get used to our limitations, the things that hold us back. Dear, did you say something? We get used to where we are. And we begin to live at a level way less than our capacity. Even if our lives are so-so, that's fine enough for us. I don't need a hearing aid. Maybe you do. And yet for God, that's not fine. Who wants us to be whole and complete as we can possibly be. It's because of these biggest limitations that we experience our incomplete way to know and to love God. We limit ourselves with the way in which our small hearts make us miss so much of life and so much of God. And today Jesus is saying to us, be opened. Isn't Jesus speaking to each one of us today? It's that same Jesus that goes out searching for us to heal, restore, bring back to life. And we can understand then that joy and enthusiasm when Jesus cures him. Because what a great day it was for him. And do you think he'll ever forget as long as he lived what happened? Even the bystanders are so impressed that the gospel says their amazement knew no bounds. In many ways, the most important part of us that still needs to be open are our hearts. Not only because of our self-centeredness, but it's also the way we put God and other people into convenient boxes that we think we can manage. And yet the less we see God and others, the smaller our lives will be. My dear friends, it's when we let God take away our limitations that we live, we grow, and we become what he calls us to be. Today's gospel invites all of us to consider how we witness that healing presence of Christ in our care and our ministry for those that are sick. Notice it was the deaf man's friends that brought him to Jesus. And it was those friends that begged Jesus to lay hands on the man so that he might be healed. 
Jesus' healing power is shown in his opening the man's ears and restoring his speech. When the family members that we care for one another are sick, we call upon Jesus for his healing. We pray for them who are ill, and we ask God's healing power upon them. And when health is restored, we too rejoice and are called to share that good news with one another. Notice that that man was cured by the friends. They could not honor Jesus' request to be quiet. Ephatha, be open. We, you and I, continue to celebrate Jesus' healing presence in our lives by giving thanks to God for the gift of healing and health as God continues to search us out and those that we love by offering healing and restoration that once again allows us to share in God's goodness. My dear friends, immediately following today's Mass, we will celebrate that sacrament of anointing, of healing of the sick, because that power of Christ still dwells with us. His words to comfort us, to heal us, and our deepest desires. It's that faith, that faith in the person of Jesus that changes our lives. Let's pray. Ephatha. Jesus, open us up to your graces. Let us together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Lord our God, we come before you now as your people. And just like the people in today's gospel, we bring you our needs. For the church throughout the world, and especially for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, and all ordained religious and lay leaders of faith, to be directed by the Holy Spirit to lead those they serve to be aware of God's power in their lives and in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, nation, and local community. For the victims of the recent school shooting in Georgia. For eternal rest for those who died and healing for those injured and for all who experience this tragedy. For safety and security in our schools and on our campuses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our diocese during this difficult time, for the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to be upon our leaders, making decisions regarding the merging and closure of parishes, for healing for our brothers and sisters who will be most directly affected by these decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all vocations, for our single men and women to lead a generous and chaste life, for married couples to be a witness of sacrificial love, and for our ordained religious and lay leaders to be a true witness to the gospel of Jesus and the truth of the kingdom of heaven. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all in need of healing in body, mind, memory, and in spirit, for hope in the power of healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For Teresa S. Gumulak, whom we pray for in a special way at this Mass, and for her own prayers and intentions, which we offer now in prayerful silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died will taste of the riches of the banquet feast of heaven, especially those who have passed on this week from our parish and faith community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. It's, who's the intention? Is that better? Lord our God, you have heard the prayers of your people. Strengthen us to live out our convictions in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our ushers will now take up the collection, and the gifts will be presented by Jim and Peter Gumilak. Be God forever. Lord, Lord, we ask you to be for this sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Thank you. 
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gives us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through these offerings we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking in this sacred mystery, we may be fulfilled, united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It was right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that we might love in us what you loved in your Son. By the obedience he has restored the gifts of yours that by sinning we lost in disobedience. And so now with the Lord and the angels, we praise you. And we too, with all, give you thanks. And in exultation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, Full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. O are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your spirit like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed, and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread. He gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and he said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once again, giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples and he said, take this, all of you drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant that will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat your bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us to be worthy, to be in your presence, and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters that have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all of those that have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 It's at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching that we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy, thy will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toris peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Quitoris peccata mundi, dona nobis pa. 
My friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who comes to take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those that are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you, that you should, should enter under my roof, under my roof but, only but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ.
Jesus, in death you shed your blood, that each of us might live. Now as our living bread from heaven, your loving self you Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you have nourished and endowed with life through the food of your word and your heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's greatest gifts that they may merit an eternal share in his life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We all know that our young people went back to school. It's time to learn. Now it's time to learn for our adults. If anyone is interested about learning about becoming Catholic, now's the time for the RCIA sessions are just beginning. Secondly, Alpha is a series of group conversations where individuals are welcome to come and to discuss questions about Christianity. Please read the bulletin for information on the program. Our family of parishes will open our 2025 Mass books on Monday. To schedule a Mass, please use the form located on page 8 of the bulletin. Mail it in. 
or drop it off in the collection basket, please. The St. Greg's Boy Scout Troop 440 is hosting their annual popcorn sale. Please step by, say hello today after Mass in the church vestibule. And as I mentioned in the homily today, the first Saturday of the month, we celebrate the sacrament of anointing. For those that are preparing to go for surgery this month and those that need God's healing grace in their lives will be immediately after this celebration. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.